velouté carmen, a beautiful velouté soup made of a nice chicken velouté and red bell pepper. The recipe has been created by Auguste Escoffier in the mid 19th century. Wow, are you ready? You will need butter, flour, diced onions, salt and white pepper, whipping cream or crème fraîche to garnish, heavy cream or whipping cream, paprika, tomato paste, red bell peppers, cooked rice, dill or chair veal to garnish, a chicken stock or a vegetable stock. Heat the pan on medium heat, add the butter and melt it. The soup is called velouté and a velouté usually it's used to make a sauce. When the butter is totally melted, add the onions all of them. Stir well. And we are going to cook the onions for about five minutes, stirring time to time, and we are going to avoid to color them. Meanwhile, I'm we are going to heat the stock in order to bring it to a boil. Thus, we will, it will be to temperature when we will add it to the room. The onions are becoming translucent and I'm going to add the flour all at once. And now we are going to mix the flour and the butter and we are going to let it cook for about a couple minutes and that will help the flour to cook and the gluten to roast a little bit thus it won't have this strong flour flavor. The roux has been cooking for about two minutes add the tomato paste at that point so I'm going to get a tablespoon The addition of the tomato paste will help into the color of the soup. There we go. Oops. So. Tomato paste could have a flavor that is bitter a little bit. So cook the tomato paste about a minute with the roux in order to develop their flavor. Velouté soups are beautiful in flavor. They are usually made of chicken stock, beef stock, fish stock or other white stocks, broth, vegetable stock and even with milk. Now, my stock is boiling here and I have removed my pot from the heat and let's add the stock. I'm going to turn it down. Add about two ladle, which is about a cup and a half of stock into the room. And and ladle the rest. So the soup will become very thick at the beginning and as you add the rest of the stock, it will get thinner. After the stock has been incorporated into the roux, return the pot to medium heat. the rest and keep whisking the velouté in order to have everything incorporated and blended. Add the seeded and diced bell pepper 
to the liquid. When you are whisking during the cooking process, do that a few times, time to time, in order to make sure that the soup doesn't stick to the bottom. And when the soup will be simmering, we are going to leave it on low heat and cook it for about 40 minutes. Time to time, you will have to whisk in order to make sure that the soup doesn't attach. And finally, you have to skim all the foam that will get created on the top. So use a skimmer and try not to pick up the bell peppers. Nice skin here, look at that. So just pick it up. The soup is quite thick now, perfect. And um, another five minutes, and then we will blend it. The soup is cooked. It's been simmering slowly for 40 minutes. Now it's time for us to check the consistency. So the soup should coat the back of the spoon like, the, like it is now. Great, perfect. Let's blend the soup. I'm going to place the rag over the lid and that will help me to keep in place the lid. So just like so, start on. So start on low heat and process the soup to a higher speed after that. So process the soup for about two minutes, two to three minutes. And then we are going to transfer the soup into a clean saucepan. Let's get a sieved over the saucepan and strain the soup that's been blended. That will help to pick up any skin from the red bell peppers. Perfect. Take back the soup to the stove. Leave it on medium heat, bring it to the boil, and then we will add the cream. Add the cream to the soup. Nice color. Is the soup. If the soup is too thin, add a little bit of roux. If the soup is too thick, add a little bit of stock. And it should have this consistency. Just to coat the back of a spoon. Beautiful. So let's taste it a little bit. We, we haven't put any seasonings yet, so we may uh, put salt and pepper after that. It's a little bit creamy, but not much. It's more velouté, this uh, velvet texture that velouté has. It's beautiful. Little bit of salt and pepper. And a good pinch of white pepper. Mix well. So stir well the velouté, because sometimes you may have a little skin that got foam on the top. Right. Then 
add a little bit of the braided rice it's hot. to garnish maybe a good tablespoon little bit of cream then a dust of paprika powder and a sprig of fresh herbs. 